getting ready to do some two minute gestures and I've got my subject here set up roughly eye level. You don't want to be looking way down at your subject all the time. So I like to try to get my little figurines about eye level. I'm using the SIT Simple Interval Timer. You can download it onto your phone or your iPad. I have mine set at 12 sets of 2 minutes. The action is 2 minutes and the break is 10 seconds and all I have to do is touch this let's go and you can set it up for any intervals I find two minute gestures are very good to do and 10 seconds is enough to turn your subject a quarter of a turn each time the buzzer goes off the bell goes off you want to sketch for two minutes when it goes off again turn it another quarter turn so each two minutes you're turning your subject a quarter turn. I've set a white piece of cardboard up in back of my subject. It makes it easier to see the shapes and I also have an odd light over here, a desk lamp and I've got some directional light on my subject. I've got some 4B pencils here. One of these is a 2B and they're all sharpened and ready to go. And I've got two different types of erasers. I've got the kneaded eraser and I've got the Mars Stetler white plastic eraser. So I'm ready to go here and I'm just going to start sketching. I my sketchbook is the Strathmore Drawing paper. It is the 70 pound paper and this is 9 by 12 inches. I find it a pretty good size to do my sketching. And I keep a piece of masonite or hardboard, this is called tile board, in back of my pad so that I have a firm surface to work on. I also use a little beanie baby or you could use a pillow or a box to prop your sketch pad up at an angle so that it's not completely flat because if it's completely flat it is going to be somewhat distorted. When I'm sketching I'm trying to keep my eye level always the same and I try to look down by not moving my head too much and keep the same distance from my subject as well as the same angle. Oftentimes I even close one eye and find that it's easier to draw with just one eye open because it flattens the shapes out a bit. So I'm ready to get started here. I haven't done this in a while, but we'll see how it goes. So I'm going to press let's go here on my simple interval timer and get started. It counts down and then it sounds when it's ready to go. Okay, so I first I start by holding my pencil like a wand and I come in here and I draw the big shape so I'm closing one eye and I'm looking here at the big shapes of this object and I'm holding my pencil like a wand like I would to conduct an orchestra. I'm measuring here I'm seeing that the body of the bird to the top of his head is just a little bit taller than the size of this pine cone. So I can go back to my drawing and see, okay, my pine cone's a little big. I can make it a little smaller. Okay, so I have my basic shape down in a minute. I still have a minute on my timer. 
So now I'm going to go back and hold my pencil like I would to write my name and I'm going to sketch in some details on this bird. Little carvings or figurines make great subjects, but everything has a gesture. So the things that are readily available around your home make great models. Okay, now I have to turn my subject a quarter turn. So I'm going to get all four views here. Again, holding my pencil like a wand, and I can come in here and draw this basic shape of this bird here. Now I have my basic outline. I'm going to hold my pencil like I would to write my name. And I'm going to come back in here and draw some of my details. Looking at the shapes and also looking at the negative shapes shape that the outside of the object makes as well as what it makes on the inside. Now this is June 1st. This is June 1st, 2019 and I haven't sketched like this in quite some time and you'll see by the end of the summer when I've been sketching every single day I'll be much more proficient at this. This is two minutes. I've gone through four minutes here sketching. I don't know if I'll fit all four across. If I had started closer to the edge, I probably could have. So now I have to turn my subject another quarter turn. Three, two, one, and go. <laughs> and then I'm looking at this shape. Closing one eye, I'm being careful not to tilt my head too much when I look down at my paper. So I'm trying to keep my eye level the same throughout this sketching exercise. holding my pencil like a wand until I get the shape down. And then I can go back, now I can go back and fill in a little bit more detail. Looking for relationships between the shapes.
Okay, I think I can maybe fit them in over here. my pencil around now. So I'm gonna have a little, I have 16 seconds. I can turn this around and put in a little bit more detail here on this one. This first one took me a little longer than the other ones did. I'm really rusty. So I'm gonna pause now. They have a pause button. These were all two minute gestures. And the date here is six, one, 19. So that's my first entry for Drawing Every Day of 2019. And hopefully you'll see a lot of improvement as the summer goes on.